Okay, this is a Zunaqua mask. It's carved in red cedar. And the Zunaqua, this, there's so many versions of this great ogress. But she wanders around in the woods and she collects children. And if you can outwit her, she, she can bring you great wealth. And uh, she's a giant ogress that comes dancing in into the house. And uh, she always has her lips pursed. And these represent her cheeks here. And this represents her brains up here. And a lot of times, you know, she's a very hairy ogress. So even though she's got a goatee here, it, is, it does represent a woman. And the other mask here is carved more of a portrait style. And it's referred to as a gechamp. And this is the male version of the Zunukwa. This mask would only be used when bringing out a copper or breaking copper or for a chief. The only time we see it now is when a chief at the end of the potlatch, after he's had four major potlatches, would be allowed to wear this to make his speech at the end, end of the festivities. So it's a very important mask. It's a mask that you don't see a lot of. And this one is carved in red cedar. That mask there, the, the gecham, is carved in alder. And it's uh, painted with uh, graphite as well. It just gives it a little bit different finish. They both have horse hair on them. And uh, one's a female and one's a male.